Patrick Etherington is an elder from the Cochrane First Nation in Ontario who is currently walking from Cochrane to the Sleeping Giant in Thunder Bay. We caught up with him on the highway west of Long Lac en route to Thunder Bay. Here now is that conversation. My name is Patrick Joseph Etherington, and I'm 65 years old from Port Albany First Nation in Ontario. You are walking from Long Lac to Thunder Bay? Yes, that's where I am now in terms of uh, continuing on to the Sleeping Giant and Thunder Bay, yes. But I started from Cochrane, Ontario, and I'm in Long Lac now. Why are you making this walk? I'm walking to the Sleeping Giant, one of our sacred symbols on Turtle Island. So I decided to walk in regards to what has happened with these graves that are sending out messages and that are numbering in great numbers in regards to where residential schools were in operation in these communities and uh, and certain problems. So I've decided when I started this walk to acknowledge those young children that are giving voices to to the present uh, generations in regards to survivors and families of survivors and also our parents are, and grandparents that have gone on, and also including St. Anne's Residential School in, in Fort Albany, Ontario, where I went, there's three young teenagers that we're aware of that were never heard from and have never been found. And that's where a part of my walk is connected to, but at the same time, to give the respectful in a, in a traditional an acknowledgement in regards to who we are as people on this turtle island and to give that part to be recognized and at the same time to give representation to it. So that's that's when I started this walk. So this is a healing journey, not only for yourself, but for others as well. Yes, at the same time to create and elevate the education process of what you should be saying for them to be saying a message in front of us today in 2021 and that we have to think about our future generations in regards to that this happened, but at the same time within Turtle Island, all the settlers and the present settlers that are coming in to recognize through that recognition that it was a very, very serious impact, not just the abuse, but of how, and then then to to slide it over and to, to relay it to a process of dialogue, but towards an education process, but this, at the same time to elevate discussion, even involving the church. But at the same time, what I'm, what I'm beginning to understand that we also need to visit our leadership and at the same time to visit in connection to our elders, where they are and how they are, and to create that awareness that we, we may ask them for their guidance and help, but at the same time, the intensity of what has happened. So how do you train for a long walk like this? Well, in terms of physical, the sad thing for me is health issue, and I lost weight. So I started to visit seriously about physical activity, and the more I did that, I started to realize that my physical being was starting to activate in a way and helping my health issues, health problems to motivate me, then this then this came into the picture. And then I realized that I'm supposed to continue as a traditional person. So I continued to train, to keep walking and walking and walking. I did a lot of that maybe the last six months, then, the, then I kicked it into this walk. I'm doing it by myself so far now. People are wanting to help me in terms of the keeping an ID escort. But it, so far, to, from Cochrane and Terry to Long Lac, they would just check up on me, but I would do most of the walking, yes. How many kilometers a day are you walking? When I started, I was able to do 25, but now I'm kicking it to, to 40. So you're walking 40 kilometers a day? When it comes to the weather and it's cool, I can move with it. When I'm in the heat, I can do 25 to 30.
And when do you expect to get to the sleeping giant? Well, I'm in Long Lac now, let's say I passed the halfway point, and I'm going and approximately less than 300 kilometers towards the sleeping giant. So you should arrive at the sleeping giant in about eight or nine days. Within that range, yes. How safe is it for you to walk along the highway when vehicles are going by you at 60 miles an hour? I am present to it, but for me, I respect the highway. So I move advice that people give me that uh, that are aware of the road conditions. They, they point out where I should stay on when when it comes to when it comes to traffic. So I have to practice that. And uh, I also notice a truck when uh, it's open, they move to the side, and I, I acknowledge them. If people wanted to show financial support for your walk, is there an email address they can donate money to? Rose, R-O-S-E, Whiskey Chan, W-H-I-S-K-E-Y-C-H-A-N, at hotmail.com. And for our listeners who are listening, you can donate money to the uh, cause that he's walking for at uh, rosewhiskeychan at hotmail.com. There's a Facebook, too, that's been happening, and that one is Francis Rose Joe. That's our Facebook. And uh, it shows pictures and uh, people sharing and people acknowledging. So that's on Facebook. Okay. Mr. Pat Etherington, who is walking from Cochrane to Thunder Bay, we wish you the very best and the very safest of walks as you continue your journey in memory of residential school survivors. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your visit and acknowledge your home territory and your home lives. Hey, hey, not Thank you.